Hi, babe. Hi. Hey, good morning, guys. It is Saturday. It's like the 26th of March. Um, today we're doing a baby photo shoot, which is going to be super not fun because um, we're doing it outside and it's going to be cold. It's for Easter, so it's going to be like I may have to hear babies crying. And that's, that's a rough thing. We're gonna shoot a picture real quick because the sunlight is amazing. Hey, what's up, guys? We are at uh, we're out at Horticulture Park at Purdue. We're trying to look at all the locations that we want to shoot because it is nippy. It is indeed like 35 degrees out, like where it's open. So like between us, like this area here, is going to be more this way by the time we get here. A little bit. Obviously, because we're going to be here pretty pretty soon. But it was a lot warmer over there because all the trees were blocking it. It is a little colder. It is uh, slightly chilly now. It's going to be like, wrap the baby up, unwrap the baby, put the baby, make the baby smile, take a picture of baby. And the babe, this baby is all stressed out. A little bit. Thanks for bringing me lunch, though. You're welcome. Hold on, don't move. You moved. Mm hmm But I had to, I changed the white balance and you oh. moved. Sorry. Uh she brought Subway. It had buffalo chicken. It was awesome. Subway bag. Thanks for showing us, babe. We needed to see the bag to know for sure and that I wasn't lying. You lie a lot. You lie a lot. False. Not false. Just like, so I was talking to him in his sleep last night. No. Some funny stuff. And he, of course, doesn't remember any of it because he talks in his sleep. And I finally got him to talk back to me last night. So that was interesting. But at least we were talking about, you know, the project. What did I say? He, uh, he said he couldn't find his nose. And I asked him, where did it go? And he said that he didn't know, but he didn't wear anything over his nose when he shot that sound. And I asked him what sound he was talking about. And he said that he was shooting the sound of a machine cutting plastic. And that's bad for you, so you have to cover your nose because you can't inhale it. And then he told me that I didn't cover my nose either. And I told him I wasn't there. And he said that I was there in spirit. And I said, well, I guess in spirit, I covered my nose then. And then I asked him what time it was, and he said we had to wake up in 10 minutes. And I looked at the clock, and it was 5.10, and we didn't have to be up until 7. So... You, you lying? I'm not lying. One of these days, I will. I'll get that on camera. Do I look like somebody who talks in my sleep? No. You talk in your sleep all the time. He talks in his sleep almost every night. We've got like quite the work going on. We're finally making a lot of progress. Getting our shots, we're working. That's our awesome storyboarding. So right And uh, here's just basically everything that we need to do our job. I'm on my like third cup of coffee. Okay guys, story time. I'm getting a dirty look from Aubrey right here. Anyways, so there was this girl um, in first grade and they I actually went to school with her from at least kindergarten. I think kindergarten, at least first grade. I'm pretty sure kindergarten too, all the way till I graduated high school. And I don't know what it was. It must have been my first grader like sense of love or affection or whatever, but I called her stupid gummy bear head every single day. Every single day of first grade. And see, Jillian's parents worked. And so she had a babysitter. So every single day she said she would go home crying to her babysitter complaining about how I was so mean and stuff like that. I don't know if I had a crush on her. I don't know. She was cute. But, you know, it wasn't like my first grade, like my first grader self was like, God, I love her. I didn't go home and was like, Mom, I'm just in love with her. No, I didn't even talk about her. But I did pick on her all the time at school. So stop bullying. Hashtag bullying is not cool. You stupid gummy bear heads. See, to me, like nowadays, people would call that bullying. They, they would, they'd be like, you're a bully. And I'm like, you're a stupid gummy bear head. So I tried to, I almost went full ninja on you. You can't, you don't even know what full ninja Do, means. Have you seen the redneck ninja? The Judy, his Judy chop? Yes. His karate chop and his, his ninja chop. 
It's the, the can of dip. It's a star. If you guys haven't seen the Redneck Ninja, it's linked below. We're going to the gym, but as always, I'm waiting on the girlfriend. Let's go! Come on! No, let's go! Come on, get in. I was telling them how I'm always waiting on you. Really? Yep. It's kind of true. It's really not true. Like, when it comes to, like... I'm so white. Hey, you're interrupting me. But yeah, you look like a rhino. Anyways, uh... A rhino? Why a rhino? Because they're really pale. Have you ever heard of an albino rhino? No, but Super rhymes. rare. Glad you're learning how to rhyme. When it comes to naggy girlfriend stuff and, like, that time of the month, I don't have to deal with any of it with her. At all. Period. See what I did there? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to the gym. We're about to work out. Bam, back. Just like that. How was the workout, babe? Pretty good. Actually. It was pretty good, yeah. But it, go on that it's second fun. round. It's like, okay, so you get to a point where in your workout, you to, to break plateau, which I'm definitely at and I have been at for a while. But the thing is, is I, I, I can't really lift harder. I can't lift heavier. My... My shoulder will only allow me so much, and you can only progress so fast. Um, but I only have so much time during the day to devote towards lifting, and I already eat very healthy. So my only option is is to step up my game, is to lift longer. Um, maybe I can give like 15 more minutes. Maybe I don't know something like that. But I just am to the point where to go any farther, um, I, I need to lift more. And I already live for a solid hour a day. I mean, we don't really rest. Just the time to go between sets, grab our weight. That's it. That is our rest. That's We're not like CrossFit where we like line up a train as long as like Minnesota is wide and just like rep that thing out until we're broken, like slowly decaying inside and then pissing ourselves. Yeah, we don't piss ourselves. Hashtag CrossFit. Woo! If you don't CrossFit, you don't lift.